surprising link between vision and Alzheimer's. We all know, Alzheimer's disease is difficult to diagnose as well as treat. More than 46 million older adults are affected by dementia worldwide and 131.5 million cases are expected by 2050. Alzheimer disease is the most common dementia, and discovering risk factors may lead to early detection and preventive measures. The researchers from the University of Washington School of Medicine now have a promising new screening tool using the window to the brain the eye. Anything happening in the eye may relate to what's happening in the brain, an extension of the central nervous system. The researchers found three common eye diseases have an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Their findings help to detect those who are at risk of developing dementia in later life. A study of 3,877 randomly selected adult patients found a significant link between three degenerative eye diseases a age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy and glaucoma A and Alzheimer disease. Over the five-year study, 792 cases of Alzheimer's disease were diagnosed by a committee of dementia experts. Patients with age-related macular degeneration diabetic retinopathy, or glaucoma were at 40% to 50% greater risk of developing Alzheimer's disease compared to similar people without these eye conditions. Cataract was not an Alzheimer's disease risk factor. The results offer physicians a new way to detect those at high risk of Alzheimer's disease, which causes memory loss and other symptoms of cognitive decline. The Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Institute and the University of Washington School of Nursing, reported their findings in Alzheimer's and Dementia on August 8, 2018 in the Journal of the Alzheimer's Association. Dr. Cecilia Lee, Assistant Professor of Ophthalmology at the University of Washington School of Medicine is the lead researcher. This study solidifies that there are mechanistic things we can learn from the brain by looking at the eye. The possible connections need more study. A better understanding of neurodegeneration in the eye and the brain could bring more success in diagnosing Alzheimer's early and developing better treatments. The researchers said several factors suggest the effects they uncovered were specific to ophthalmic conditions and not merely age-related phenomenon. For years Alzheimer's researchers were focused on a myeloid buildup in brain tissue, but that hasn't brought much benefit to patients. The main message from this study is that ophthalmologists should be more aware of the risks of developing dementia for people with these eye conditions and primary care doctors seeing patients with these eye conditions might be more careful on checking on possible dementia or memory loss. Even though, this paper is pointing to a new area of opportunity, it doesn't mean people with these eye conditions will get Alzheimer's disease. Thank you.